Hello and welcome to this week's devlog video of my project Mini Countries. This time I would like to show you the season feature I've added to the game. In the previous videos you've only seen a sunny and bright scenery, but in this video you will also see the gloomy autumn and a snowy winter landscape. Let's jump right into it after the intro. The first thing I started with was setting up a particle system for the rain and snow, which should be visible in the autumn and winter of course. I've created two tiny sprites, one for the rain and one for the snowflakes. The rain is a very simple rectangle, which I stretch in the particle system to make the edges become a bit more washed out, like rain almost look uh, in PC games. And for the snow I have created a simple sprite sheet with different sprite versions to have a bit of variety. After a bit of tweaks the rain looks like this and the snow like this. Next I set up the code system for the season handling. Each season has the same length so what I actually needed was just creating a progress timer which starts by the value of the season duration and will be decreased until the time has been reached zero to switch the season. Then I set the new season and reset the timer to the season duration back and that's it. But I didn't want to switch the season instantly, so I created a transition handling and I also created the variables for each season to make the snow start in autumn and let the winter start slowly. For a lot of landscape objects I used a custom wind shader to make trees move in the wind. Of course not all the current and future objects are intended to move, like wheat or stones for example, but all of these objects should be influenced by the current season, especially in winter, or the objects should have a snowy look. So I had to extend the existing wind shader by two textures, one for the current season and one for the upcoming season. First I changed all the current Blender models to take their colors from a texture by using UV mapping, which makes it very easy to fade between two landscape textures. The only thing I had to change in the shader was adding two variables for the textures, defined as 2D sampler, and a float value for the blend. Since I had only one color for the material in the previous wind shader, I now had to combine the color, in this case it's called the tint, with the landscape textures calculated by the blend which is handled by these three lines of code. Back to the final shader you can see the two landscape textures with the initial blend value of 0 which shows the texture of the current season. If I increase the blend value the upcoming season will be faded in until it's completely shown at a blend value of 1. After making this work, I now had to make these transitions more transparent to the player, so I created a season component for the UI. I created four little icons for spring, summer, autumn and winter, and I also created a little timeline where I want these icons to move in real time. I got this working quite quickly, just a little bit of easy math. I also had to add a math component to the container to make icons be cut off when leaving the timeline component. Yeah, and that was it. Last but not least, I added the season settings to the current level file format. So this allows to enable or disable seasons in a level. So, and that's the final result. Some of the transitions are much quicker than the others because there is no need to have a long transition between spring and summer for example, but for autumn to winter there is a much smoother transition needed to make the landscape become a winter wonderland. What kind of season do you like the most and what are your suggestions for improvements? Write it down in the comments.
So that's it for this week's devlog video. If you liked the video, hit the like button to keep this devlog series up and running. Subscribe to the channel, activate the bell to be up to date and get notified about future videos. Thanks for watching, have a great start into the next week and see you next time. Cheers!